home from work and I actually went to the school after work and I wanted to like get some information on a summer class because I wanted to bump my GPA and also uh, retake this class that uh, I wasn't really satisfied with my grade. So I went there and I tried to get some information and of course it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to take a summer class because then that would mean I wouldn't be able to work for six weeks and that is not an option. So I'm in the process of trying to figure out what I'm going to do and on top of that now I'm finding out that I'm going to have to travel for this upcoming semester anyway. So I might just try to take two classes uh, traveling and see if I can get them both on the same day I don't know it's just getting crazy I took the semester off because the class that I needed they weren't providing down here but they said that they were going to for the spring and now they don't so I'm like I could have just traveled then and gotten it over with so I'm like, uh, it's just a lesson learned, whatever, I'll know for next time. But now I'm just trying to figure this all out. Life can be real stressful sometimes. It's okay. I work for what I get and I'm perfectly fine with that. It shaped me to be the person that I am. So now I'm just trying to figure everything out. Figure out how I can still work and go to school and nothing interfere. So that's like one of the things that I'm doing for today. I'm trying to get through school and they're trying to make it harder for me. But you know what? It'll be worth it in the end. And because it's taking so much, I know it'll be even more worth it. So I'm just trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I really am but it gets hard sometimes. So I'm trying to get better at eating things throughout the day because I like suck at it. Like I can literally forget to eat and I don't know, I just don't get hungry as often as I should, I guess. So I'm eating something that's probably not the best for you, but since I have to go food shopping, it's the only thing that I have right now. And it's these uh, honey barbecue wings by Murray's. Uh, Rob's mom made them for me once and I really liked them. So I made sure that I got some for the house. So I'm just gonna eat some of this before I go to the gym tonight with Rob so that I have something on my stomach cause I can't, I think I only had yogurt today. So yeah. I'm doing that right now. I washed some dishes, put some dishes away, and I think I'm, I did some cleaning. I did a lot. I got a lot done. I feel accomplished. I think I finally figured out the whole school thing. So um, I'm hoping that everything works out. I still have to talk to a lady that I thought was supposed to be there today, but she wasn't, so I have to talk to her tomorrow. So I make sure that I do that, but I think I'm just gonna sit down for the first time since I got home. So that sounds like the- Hey guys, so because we didn't get that much footage yesterday and we already had a day without vlogs, we're going to put two days into one. So you have already watched yesterday, it's just the couple of clips that we had. And we're going to be recording today, which we don't usually do, but we are going on an adventure when Rob gets off of work. So that, that'll be fun. So you will see that so later. I just on. got back from Wawa and today is free coffee day. So I decided to go and get Rob a coffee and I'm gonna bring it to him when he has a break. But I might have taken a sip of his coffee and I might have liked it.
yeah. I have never been a coffee person, never liked it. I've always loved the smell of coffee though. So like every time somebody has coffee around me, like I smell it. But I've never wanted to drink it. It was always like disgusting to me. I did try it before. I tried somebody's like homemade coffee. I think it was my grandma's. And I just wasn't a fan of it. But uh, his coffee kind of like spilled out like the top. It like spilled out of the top and that bothers me. So I was like, let me just slurp this up. I did and I was like, I know why people are like obsessed with this. I get it. And the thing is, I just put like, he likes a lot of French vanilla uh, creamer in his. So I just did it as much as I thought that he would like it because I got the uh, 20, the 20 ounce cup, cup. but um, I didn't even put any sugar in it because I think he likes Splenda and I don't know if they had Splenda there, like nothing said Splenda directly, but I knew that we had some at home. So I'll just bring some of those with me when I take his coffee. If it's not gone, but uh, I think I might just put some sugar in this and just keep this one for myself and just get him uh, um, coffee when I get down towards him. It'll be fresh anyway, so he'll like it more probably. But this is dangerous. Like, why do people drink this like on a regular? This is dangerous stuff like I feel wired I feel like I could walk up a wall right now but I understand why people like drink this in the morning and then like they can go a whole day if you have to drink more than one coffee a day you have a problem because that just a couple of sips that I took gave me like the energy boost for the rest of the day and I probably won't drink the whole thing because it's so big. But again, I thought I was getting it for him and not for me. So I got a bigger one. But I don't even know if he drinks that much. But anyway, this is just dragging out now. But I just had to tell you about my first coffee experience. Because that was crazy. I was not expecting that reaction at all. I'm at my mom's house. And there might be a change of plans with our adventure. I'm not sure yet, but I'm here with the baby. Baby! Look! Zuka, say hi! Zuka, say hi! <laughs> yeah, so I'll probably just be here until... We figure out what's going on. Rob has plans for our anniversary, so I don't know, like, what's gonna happen or what. We've got two days and very exciting. Very, very exciting. So I guess we'll have to see what happens. What happens when I try to leave? Now all of a sudden he wants to play. I've been here for how long and you didn't want nothing to do with me. Now that I gotta leave, you wanna play. Get off of my leg. Get off of my leg. So we are going to um, 
KFC, KFC and, and Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. Look at our matching hoodies. We got them for Christmas. Ah. We got them for Christmas and uh, it didn't work out that well. Yeah. Because no. wrong size, blah, blah, blah. Oh, sorry. But now we can finally wear them because we both have them. Oh. So exciting. So here we go on this random road trip just for Fat boy props and fat girl props. We made it to the promised land. Mm-hmm. It's it's gonna be so worth it, seriously. There's Dunkin' Donuts. There it is. So we just placed our order. It's gonna be heaven. We gotta break a hundred. Yeah. Poor lady. I feel bad like when I do that. Your total is twenty three ninety six. How do you spend twenty three dollars at Taco Bell? Just the two of us. Just two of us. What? I'm ready for the KFC. That was what I really wanted to come mm -hmm. up here. I made everybody at work jealous, telling them that I'm going. And me and Sierra is going to Taco Bell and KFC. They're like, "You're going to both?" I was like, "Yeah." You don't just come all the way up here and go to one. No, you have to go to both. You, you have to. It's a guarantee must. I know they don't have spray. So I have Pepsi products. But, but this is Dr. Pepper. Isn't isn't Dr. Pepper Coke? I think it is Coke. So now we got all of our stuff. We got KFC, we got Taco Bell, see the really big bags. And that's just for the both of us. <sighs> we deserve it. We do. We work hard in the gym. We really do. And we'll work hard after this to get it all off. That amen to that. <laughs> the struggle. Amen. But for that. now, we're going to enjoy. Yes. So. so, this is all of our food. I feel like I'm probably. I might give my uh, Taco Bell away. No. It depends. Nobody asked you. You got more than enough food. So, we are home and eating. I just had uh, some of the KFC because I was really craving that. And then I decided to eat just one taco. That was it. I ordered like what, five tacos. I ordered five, but yeah, I totally yeah. did. I ordered five, but I only ate one because I'm going to like spread it out. Uh, definitely not gonna eat all that one day. I might be. Rob is eating his quesalupa. This is my. I got done eating two of the five layer beef burritos, and I only have one left. And I got meat and quesalupa. Mm, excuse me. And I got one more quesalupa left. And I got my mashed potato bowl. <coughs> Hot sauce. Woo! Got my mashed potato bowl. Yeah. This is the last thing he's eating. He just don't know. Um. But we're watching Once Upon a Time, and yeah, it was definitely a road trip that needed to happen. Yes. Because we had planned this time and time before, and it always like fell through. So we just needed our fix, and we're glad that it finally happened this time. But we're probably gonna watch Once Upon a Time and then go upstairs. Yeah. And uh, relax. Yeah, shower and then cuddle until they go to sleep. So we're probably just gonna say goodnight now so that I can hurry up and edit this vlog and put it up. So good night guys.